we want to talk a little bit about uh, perinatal ocular glandular syndrome. And uh, this young man just presented here today uh, for evaluation of some swelling on his face and his eye, fairly dramatic. And uh, Dr. Pont was his emergency physician today. Uh, when did this all start? Last Thursday. Okay. And you do have a cat at home? Yes. Okay. So what started, what started last Thursday? Um, his eye started to get a little um, poofy. And um, then by Sunday, he started to get a knot on the side of his face. And, and that's what we're calling the preauricular lymph node, isn't that right, Dr. Pont? Yes. I mean, that seems to be the, the you, want to, you want to demonstrate this? Absolutely, absolutely. So we, we started with a small swelling as per mom right around this um, mm -hmm. submandibular area. Um, and I think when he turns his head this way, um, it's, it's a little bit more prominent, as you yeah, can see right here. Yeah, definitely is, definitely mm -hmm. is. And then the swelling kind of extended to preauricular area, which we think it's probably preauricular lymph node. And then eventually the swelling has started around his eyes, especially his upper eyelids, starting yesterday. Is that mm -hmm. right, Mom? Correct. So what's a little bit different is that he's got significant swelling in his upper eyelid there. Um, and it actually makes the eye look like it's drooping a little bit. Did your cat ever scratch you or did your cat ever lick you? She licks me all the time, but she really doesn't scratch me. Okay. All right. So that's probably where it started. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you think she has licked you around your face? Or? No, she always licks me on my fingers. She doesn't okay. really lick me around Okay, the cat licked his fingers and he touched his, uh, touched his, his, his eyes. Right, so we're just going to take a look at his he always rubs eyelid. His eyes. And got some uh, conjunctival injection right there. Yeah. Now uh, is the scleras injected too, the actual... Right, right. Can you look yeah. to your... Uh, this way, buddy? This way? Yeah, like, like, uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Got some sclera injection. So got a little bit of whitish, purulent discharge. On the angle of his eyes. Yeah. 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 I actually had seen some dried right. secretions in the eye earlier. There we go. There's some discharge right there. Yeah. <clears throat> the lower palpebral conjunctiva. Yeah. So he never did have a lesion on his face, though, of any kind. Is that right? Yes. Right. He never did. Okay. And um, we haven't had any fever, but he's been on antibiotics yes. uh, for suspected um, infection or lymphadenitis. Okay. The last one. So they put him on cephalexin? Right. Okay. So pretty much three to eight percent of patients can uh, present with ocular glandular syndrome uh, from cat scratch disease. Um, so with so it's not a very common right, presentation. Right. It's eighty-five percent of the time it's just a lymph node. So right. so this is this is a very small subset. Absolutely. Does the other eye have any redness at all? Mm -mm, like this side of my face is perfectly fine. It's just this side. Right. Yeah. What about the eye itself? Does it feel like mm -mm. there's something in your eye? No. Okay. Are these lymph nodes causing you a lot of pain? Not really. They do hurt though if we yeah, push them or hurt, touch it. They don't like do a lot, a lot of pain. So, so uh, Dr. Pont, how do you think you're going to treat this? So, uh, with the management aspect, you know, we, we have ordered some labs, you know, basic CBC and um, CMP to make sure his livers are not involved. Uh, we've sent some Bartonella titers, um, a blood culture just, just to rule out other infections. Um, we have also ordered a CT scan to see how big the lymph nodes are and if there's any abscess involved. Yeah, um, exactly, whether, because right. the percentage of these will actually superate. Absolutely, absolutely.
the treatment line pretty much is, uh, you know, we combine two antibiotics. We do uh, rifampin and doxycycline for 10 to 14 days, and uh, there has been literature where steroids might help as well, uh, a tapering course for 10 to 14 days as well. Um, so what other things could be causing this? I mean, if it's not cat scratch disease, which it just has to be, if it's right. not that, I don't, right. but what other things might this be due to? So bacterial infections, definitely, you know, staph, strep, uh, we'll have to rule those out. Uh, we could have toxoplasma, um, some, some, uh, some of the rare fungal, rare like, bugs, right? yeah, no cardia. Right, no cardia, those would be the other, uh, some rare ones. Uh, rare ones. So it sounds like your cat loves you, your cat licks you a lot, and you, and he licks your fingers, and you may have just touched your eye, and that's what started this all. Well, you know, thank you so much for letting us do this video. It's going to help a lot of people. There's a lot of young doctors out there who are looking up online. They read about this stuff in textbooks, but it's actually seeing a real patient that is makes all the world a difference as far as learning. Yep. And videos are phenomenal for teaching. So thank you. You're, you're doing a good deed here despite what you're going through.